everyone, welcome to another episode of The Front. As always, you can check out the website at leadtheteam.net for free sales training, for motivational content, and for leadership tips. And if you would, cruise on over to leadtheteam.tv and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I do new episodes every Wednesday and Sunday of The Front, and I would love to have you join me. Now, today, I'm going to be talking about eye-to-eye, the greeting, right now on The Front. Thanks for tuning in to Lead the Teams, The Front. Yes, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Mike Phillips and I will be your host. This is The Front and today's theme, eye-to-eye contact, and I'm talking about the greeting. So sales consultants out there, if you are a retail sales consultant, automotive sales consultant, B2B sales consultant, this one's for you. The professional greeting, the way that you greet potential customers is one of the most valuable things that you can learn in a sales environment and it'll carry you all the way through your sales career. Now, I'm not talking about just contact, like trivial 20,000 foot view, hey, let's connect on social media stuff. I'm talking about eye to eye, in person, how you greet somebody when you connect with them is going to have a heavy measure on your level of success throughout your life as a salesperson. Now note, that's even something as you get into management and leadership, management is sales. You've gotta sell other people on your way of doing things, right? As a manager, you have to be able to present and sell your product, which is your way of doing stuff, to the sales consultants that are working for you. So this could apply to you as well. That's right, the things that you do over and over again, how you greet somebody, your mannerisms, what you say, how you say it, how you carry yourself, those are all going to have a impact on your level of success. So we're gonna cover five steps today, actually a little more than five, but I'm gonna label it five steps to the professional greeting to help progress you through any sales career. So I'm gonna start out with step zero. Step zero happens before you've even met the potential customer. This happens first thing when you get up in the morning. How are you preparing? How are you carrying yourself? Are you well-groomed? Are you prepared to take on the day? You know, it starts before you've ever gotten to work. People say, well, it you know, starts when I first make contact with the person or when I first see them or when they first see me. I disagree. It starts with how you get up and get going and prepare yourself to take on your day. Now, still step zero. Ideally, and this is one of those things that maybe you do, maybe you don't. Because if you're in retail sales, maybe this works out. And if you're in B2B sales, I would highly recommend have an appointment with the customer. The customer being, if it's a retail person, like in automotive sales, if you are able to ideally have an appointment and be prepared for that upcoming visit, you should do that. If you're in B2B sales, right, and you're showing up at somebody's place of business, have an appointment. You know, when you don't and you just walk in unannounced, oftentimes it's really hard for people, that, especially decision makers, people that are going to make a decision on purchasing your product or not, to drop everything that's going on because, heck, we're all just busy, right? So ideally, whatever sales environment you're in, try and set up an appointment. Now, once you're live, once you are in front of that customer, once you're in front of the prospect, the person that you are ready to do business with, ideally, your greeting should be either the same or at least similar every time. You kinda gotta have a road to the greeting, just how you'll have a road to the sale. At least that's my recommendation. Step one is you got to make eye contact with the person. Eye contact is so, so important. Researchers have done studies in infants and babies that brain activity is heightened when they can look back at the face of somebody that is making eye contact with them when they're gazing upon the baby. That The brain activity is greater even starting out with very small children. And then researchers have done studies that eye contact in adults triggers a higher state of self-consciousness. It actually takes more brain power and it pushes somebody to focus on the individual that is directly in front of them. Most relationships start off with eye contact, right? Gazing deeply into somebody's eyes. Now, I'm not saying you should make it uncomfortable in business, 
but business relationships should start with eye contact as well. Step two is be confident in your approach. So now you've made eye contact as you're approaching your potential customer, carry yourself from your chest or carry yourself from your heart in this case. I would say carry yourself from your heart and be direct. Approach the person that there is no question what you're there to do. You're there to have a conversation on selling a product. So be direct with the individual. Don't him haw around. You know, if you're lackadaisical in your approach, if your shoulders are down, if you're not making eye contact, you give that timid smile and you're like, hey, you know, that says that either you're not self-confident or they're not important. And both of those are not a good way to start a sales relationship. So carry yourself from your heart. Approach directly. And then step three, right, as you're approaching, smile. Smiling has been proven to activate neural messaging and it releases endorphins and dopamine and serotonin. That's the feel good stuff in your brain. So when you're smiling at somebody, why not start a relationship feeling good, both for you and for them? Now, step four is the handshake, right? We all know how to shake hands, right? You're a sales professional. Well, believe it or not, who is it that trained you how to shake hands in a sales environment. Now maybe coming up, it was mom or dad or one of your grandparents that pulled you aside and said, hey, here's how you do it. And you gotta have a really firm handshake and you gotta be stronger than the person that you're shaking hands with and you gotta come in over the top because that's gonna show them that you're in charge. Well, I kind of disagree with that. And the, the reason being is when you're starting off a relationship, you wanna be on that same level as the person that you're greeting. So come in on an even playing field, just elbow at your side, hand straight on, stick the hand out and lock hands with them on an even level. You're still looking them in the eye, you're still smiling, and you just have a, a nice, even, firm handshake with one another to start off that relationship. Now, believe it or not, I think most sales consultants, most salespeople in retail sales, B2B, it doesn't matter what arena you are in sales in. If you think about it, you probably are learning to shake hands from strangers, right? Because your handshake evolves and adjusts according to these other people that you've never met. So in my opinion, a handshake is something you should practice with peers on your level with management, you know, get an outside opinion of how well you do or don't shake hands. I think that's important. When's the last time you asked for an opinion and had your handshake gauged? I would encourage you do it. Now, step five is start your conversation. You know, if you have a greeting script that you start with, that's okay. Ideally, you're going to come in with your your handshake and right after your handshake you're going to introduce your company yourself and when it's relevant use the potential customer's name right because we like the sound of our own name so as you're introducing yourself if you already have an idea of who that person is then you know that's okay mr or mrs and and introduce yourself if you don't know then make it conversational Introduce your company, introduce yourself, and then pause to give the customer time to respond so that it becomes a natural and normal conversation. You know, so often we try and make those conversations forced and we try to draw questions out of them rather than just beginning a conversation. If you're at a party with somebody or you're introducing a friend to a family member, you just say, hey, uh, aunt so-and-so, this is my friend so-and-so, right? And they start talking. It happens naturally. So don't try and force it. Just start the conversation and go. So that's my five steps to having a really good quality sales greeting. And here's the last thing that I would encourage you. For goodness sake, be prepared. There are so many opportunities to prepare now in the, the technological and socially connected world that we live in. Be prepared for the meeting. Right. If it's a vendor client relationship, if it's a B2B relationship, be prepared, know something about that customer, know something about their company so that you're going in and have a, a enough caring 
to be able to present yourself as a professional and carry on a reasonable conversation with them. If you're on the retail side of things, the best preparation you can have is product knowledge. Know what the heck you're selling. And when you're prepared to be able to have a competent conversation with your potential customer, then it'll take you that much further and you'll sell more products. So be prepared. So that's my whole message for today. Talking about eye to eye in the greeting, right? When you're face to face with somebody, I'm going to run back through it. Step zero, right? It's how you approach the day. Step one, then make eye contact with the person. Step two is be direct and confident. Carry yourself from your heart. Step three, give people a genuine smile. Step four, shake hands, right? You may need to practice your handshake and get an outside opinion. And then step five, offer the greeting and start a conversation. So thank you so much for taking the time to join me today on the front. I really, really appreciate it. As always, if you've gotten something out of this episode, give it a thumbs up, share it on your social media, comment on it on YouTube or on whatever social channel it is that you are on. And until we speak next, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. We'll talk to you soon, everybody.